Geek Citadel. Basic game review is intended for simpler titles than say an RPG or open world title. It's to give you the gist of what the game is about because the first couple of hours of the game is more than likely the structure of the game as a whole. There was a time when Nelly was somewhat of a great pirate. She saved the Spoonbeaks once upon a time, but now she's a lowly mail clerk on a mail ship. Her old ghost pirate pal Bloodbeard shows up to let her know that her great enemy Widebeard is up to his old tricks again. This time he's manipulating the Spoonbeaks and various other birds and using them to do his bidding. Now Nelly must find Widebeard and stop him before he releases his foul fleet. Nelly Kudalot The Foul Fleet is the sequel to an adventure game studio title called Nelly Kudalot Spoonbeaks Ahoy. While that game featured a hand drawn 2D style of gameplay, The Foul Fleet is beautifully rendered in vibrant 3D visuals. The animations for the characters and actions are simple but sweet. Don't expect too much wacky movement outside of a few cutscenes and you should be golden. The world of Nelly Kudalot likes to keep it simple, but there are still plenty of kicks to get out of the character's movements. One particularly humorous example is after Nelly helps a bird move to a new home and he thanks her by giving her a hat full of his poop before sliding away into his new nest. It's simple and sweet and adds a different sort of hilarity to the world. I advise you not to think about how much poo must be in it. Advice taken. Nelly Kudalot is a comedic adventure and it never stops reminding us. Nelly is gung-ho but completely dim-witted at the same time. She's like a stupider version of Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. She takes most anything people tell her literally and she'll end up asking ridiculous questions or won't fully understand basic innuendo. He's gone to Splitsville. I mean, he hopped the coal train out of here. I thought he left by boat. I mean, he's gone. Luckily, a wide variety of people she meets are quick to crack a few jokes or two. One of my favorite characters in the game is named Gusty Nethers. Yeah, that's right, Gusty Nethers. He also has a few other ridiculous names he starts to call himself over the course of the game. Gusty is just one of the many characters that don't take themselves too seriously. It makes for some wonderful back and forth banter between Nelly and the various characters. Also, if you're a fan of Doctor Who in any way, Tom Baker, the fourth Doctor, is in the game as Sebastian. Only I escaped because I was caught in those six-pack rings. It's like they were all hypnotized. There are some downsides, and most of it comes in the form of the voice acting. It's not to say that the voice acting is bad. In fact, a lot of it is great. It's that the jokes often fall flat because the timing or emotion isn't particularly perfect. Sometimes Nelly or another character will tell a joke and there's no oomph to it whatsoever. Other times there will be a witty back and forth and the timing of the final joke is just not enough to evoke laughter. It's the moments like these that are a bit of a drawback to the foul fleet because it's filled with hit and miss jokes. <clears throat> Oi. Yeah, what do you want? What kind of drinks do you do? Cinnamon cappuccino, slimline cocoa shots, sober joe, hemp tea with antioxidants, or minty double italiano sea salt frappes. What about a glass of water? I don't know what you mean. When it comes to the mechanics of the title, the team sought to make a game that isn't just ham-fisted with combining items and clicking things. There are quite a few thoughtful puzzles in the game that think outside the box. Lots of the brain teasers rely on some well thought out and even nostalgic design choices. The enigma of it all functions by figuring out elements of a puzzle and piecing it all together to create one cohesive part. A sample of this is one of the first real puzzles in the game, where Nelly has to figure out the root of a fleet of ships by studying a log. Using different days as a reference, she has to piece together the name and location of a ship she has to board. There are a variation of moments like these that shirk the usual click on random things design of most adventure titles. Nelly Kudalot gives me a Professor Layton vibe as it consistently gives us amusing and well thought out puzzles to enjoy. Nelly Kudalot may not be a particularly hard game, but how many adventure games truly are? Most of them are difficult because you didn't click the right objects or you missed some dialogue that you can't see again. The Foul Fleet never leaves you lingering for too long on one of the many riddles. If you interact with the characters and observe the items, you'll zip through the game without being tied down by boring pixel clicking. I appreciate this because I do enjoy the experience and the story of adventure games more than being stranded on Puzzle Island. I like to be challenged, but not to the point where I'm stuck in one specific area for three hours because of something I didn't notice. 
Nelly Kudalat, the Foul Fleet, is middle of the road in difficulty, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I have some early build concerns that hopefully will be addressed in the retail version. The first area of the game is ripe with UI and scrolling problems. The item slot would occasionally stay on screen, which impeded my ability to interact with anything else. Also, there was an area where the screen would stop scrolling and I couldn't walk any further to a place that I actually needed to visit. This game also doesn't realize when you're playing with dual monitors and uses a secondary screen instead. I had to switch to single screen settings if I wanted to record a video of the game. Nelly Kudalat The Foul Fleet started off as something I would have dismissed because it was trying too hard to be funny. It's not until I ran into the first real puzzle before I said, hey, this is actually different for an adventure game. Suddenly I was hankering for the next new puzzle and engaged in solving any riddle that came my way. I began to appreciate the simplistic animations and suddenly fell in love with the world of Nelly Kudalot. If you're looking for an entertaining and different adventure title, Nelly Kudalot might be the game with just enough charm to draw you in. Nelly is no Guybrush Threepwood, but she is certainly in a position to take over where he left off.